Hey guys, what's up? Phase two is a few weeks away and I kind of wanted to spitball or speculate some of the builds that we'd be using as a warlock for the new raid no origin coming out. It's going to be a 10 man raid, I believe they said. And uh, I just kind of just want to go over the builds, shoot the shit a little bit. I'm going to cover pretty much every build for DPS and some for tanking and maybe some like speculative builds. Um, first off, before I begin, know that we don't, we are, we're getting new rune slots. They've said, uh, we don't know any of them. So I'm just going to pretend none of them exist and just talk about what I, what I would use right now. Obviously, like I said, none of us in the whole entire world know anything about what's coming out right now. So take this with a grain of salt. This is just kind of like what I would imagine that we'd be doing with what we're given right now. Um, you know, for example, we use like a fire for fire dash or how do we know we don't get another thing for conflag or backdraft? We like, we don't know what we're getting. So don't take this like for a hundred percent fact. I'm just speculating, shooting this shit on what I think would be good specs in general, right? We do know that the talents are not changing, but we are getting new runes. We don't know if Nomer is changing. For example, well, we can just get into it. I think Fire Destro is going to be king for DPSing as a warlock. Um, I think a lot of people think and know that. Um, I guess we can't say we know that because we don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be Biss. Uh, no Origin has a lot of mechanicals in there, meaning that they're immune to drain life mechanics. And one of the big things that Affliction Locks are doing right now is Master Channeler. Uh, I'm assuming that's not going to work because you can't drain life those mobs. We don't know yet, though. Also, Siphon Life is a big, big, big thing that we get for Affliction as well, for multi-dotting. And that is also a, a life leeching ability. So I don't know if we'll even be able to do that. There was talks about maybe making them not immune to it, just highly resistant to it. But that's just all speculative again. And I don't trust that because I don't. that didn't come from Blizzard's mouth. Okay, so as of right now, I'm going to assume that mechanicals will be immune to there so it's going to make it rough for affliction on some spots and for that reason i think fire destro is going to be king um we're going to go over fire destro a couple fire destro ones different pet ones and some affliction builds for you affliction guys and also some like support dps builds because there is a viability for support dps as well right now right um i feel like i haven't put a lot of shine on some of the abilities or runes or talents with support builds because i'm more like a dps and i just want to zug but i'll put some shine on that in this video as well as some tank ones too okay so let's just get into it the first one is right here and this is the fire destro build now before i talk about any of these builds when you see me hold up a screenshot don't just get mad that you don't see a talent i'll talk about why that talent's not in there and like maybe you could use it you know anyway so starting with the fire destro build you'll notice right away that i don't have conflag okay um actually for the runes before we start leg of fire chaos bolt incinerate are the three fire runes i don't know what else we would get to make us not use these these are fucking very good and there's going to further get good with the destro tree due to a bunch of fire damage that we get it's going to be really really nice okay and also ruin is going to be fat like this I, I feel like these are going to be great like i said we don't know anything about what runes we're getting but basically i can't imagine us not using lake of fire right now the problem with lake of fire is that it's expensive you still use it but it is pretty expensive however now you'll be able to use rank one lake of fire right so you don't need to or rank one rain of fire so you don't need to use a max rank rank right so we'd be using rank uh, yeah we'd be using rank two you know 605 mana which is a lot of mana versus our rank one that we're using right now which is 295 mana so now you're just going to use rank one you would just use the rank one right and then let the light go down right and then run in and hellfire so hellfire will be able to get not only do we get that but we'll have pushback on hellfire and fire damage so i really think hellfire is going to be big with our aoe i think it's going to be more damage than if you were to go shadow bolt volley um that's yet to be seen but that's my speculation on it um for the destro tree obviously Cataclysm because we don't want ISB, Bane because we don't want Aftermath, five points of devastation for your 5% crit. And then I went two destructive reach and then two intensity with Shadow Burn. Um, Shadow Burn is just to be used when you're moving, as you guys know, or like a boss finisher. You know, I don't need to talk about Shadow Burn. You know why we take it. Um, with this, you wouldn't need, you don't need to take this. You can definitely put this anywhere else. The next build I show you is more of an imp build. So if you're wondering why, oh, why is he not doing imp? I'll get there. Um, yeah, and then after that, obviously, five points to emulate. We get a fresh rank of emulate at 40. So uh, emulate, in my opinion, is going to be doing a decent amount of damage. Where is it at? Is it rank five? Yeah, we get a fresh rank at 40. You know, our corruption is like level 34. Our drain life is level 38. We don't have the best version of most of our abilities besides emulate, to be honest with you. What's our Shadow Bolt rank? I think our Shadow Bolt rank wasn't that bad, 36. So it's not like horrible, but, you know, I think our next rank of Shadow Bolt is 42. So you see what I mean? Which is why you're incinerating plus this is fire so you're going to incinerate incinerate scales every time you level it's less mad than shadow bolt i honestly think until you're level 60 that incinerate is just going to dust off shadow bolt and obviously this is way too far in the future to think about but i think that incinerate is going to be even better than shadow bolt at 60 as well unless you're like a support build or maybe mold core and bwl are fire immune like that's we'll get down there way down we'll get down there in a couple months or like six months or something right Obviously, Ruin, this is going to be huge. Increases the critical strike damage of your destruction spells by 100%. This is a massive ability. Um, at 60, this is used almost all the time. SM Ruin, DS Ruin, whatever version of it you have, right? 
now this is going to be huge you guys are already seeing if you're running fire dash row how much damage your chaos bolts are doing or even your incinerate like you can see some big crits i think i got like a 1900 2000 crit on my chaos bolt on Gamoru. Obviously, Gamoru is a different boss than the regular ones, but you can get some good damage on this, and I'm really excited for Ruin. And obviously, Ember Storm, which is going to be fat. This is 10% fire damage as we're running everything as fire. And for those who didn't know, Chaos Bolt and Incinerate are considered destruction spells and fire spells if you didn't, if you couldn't figure that out yourself. So that's just going to buff them further. Now, the big point in contention that I don't have right now is Conflag. Now, you can definitely take Conflag, removing one point out of Ember Storm and putting it into Conflag. You can't take one out of Emulate, which I wish you could because you need it to unlock it, but um, you, that's what you have to do. The problem with Conflag is this eats the Emulate that you have on the target. Now, this is in the past used to you put an em Emulate up, you go about your rotation, then right before Emulate falls off, you can you can flag it. I don't think that's worth it. Now, this is once again, I could be 100% wrong. Nobody knows about this. I'm just completely being speculative, like I said. I don't think that that's going to be worth the 2% fire damage. First off, you're losing 2% fire damage from Ember Storm, right? And then what I want more than anything, which I think everybody wants more than anything, is a rune that makes it so Conflag doesn't run Emulate. I've told Blizzard, like I've, I've told them a couple times, like I don't think Warlocks will be running. I mean, PvP, yes. PvP, you guys will be. This is amazing, right? I'm talking strictly PvE. I told them I don't think we'll be running Conflag. Uh, I don't think, once again, I could be wrong. So if I'm wrong, don't flame me. Um, I don't think people would be running Conflag, and when they said why, I was like, because well, it consumes your emo. Like that isn't your. You have a point that you're putting here just to use at the end of your emulate versus taking two percent fire damage. Um, that's what I think. I don't think we'd use Conflag. If I'm wrong or you want to use Conflag, then just take a point from Ember Storm and put it in there. That's easy as shit. But I think that this, speaking way ahead of time, is going to be the best fire Destro build, the best Warlock DPS build. Period. Um, yeah, so we'll find out about that. Now, the next talent build is a, a, a variation of fire, right? So you'll notice that the only thing I did difference was I removed two points from intensity, right? Which I didn't talk about in the last build, but this gives you a 70% chance to not to uh, not get the knockback on your Hellfire. You'll be Hellfiring a lot. Now, if we're talking about purely DPS, like single target builds, you don't really need this. There's not, I don't, I, well, I guess I don't know the fights in No Mergen, right? The new one. We don't know if there's AOE fights, but you can definitely sack those two points and put them into improved imp. Now, to fr I always feel like if you're running improved firebolt, I'm at the same improved firebolt. If you're running improved firebolt, I feel like you should always run improved imp. Now the problem with improved imp is that's three points, and you can't afford three points here. The only way I can, you can if you take one from MLA and then two from Ember Storm to get your improved imp. I personally, I think they might work. Like I said, nobody knows, but I personally don't like this because I'm losing four percent damage or four percent fire damage from Ember Storm if I do that. I think a solid variation of this would be to be able to take one from improved emulate only losing five percent of the initial damage of your emulate right and then putting it into improved imp because emulate improved emulate is not your whole entire dot of emulate it's just the initial damage of it right um so i think you could afford that you can't go any lower than that it won't let you right so the only thing you can take from is ember storm for the extra 20 percent on your improved imp yet to be seen but i think if you want to run imp this is definitely what you do take sack that you can also sack that from here instead if you wanted to but i like my like i love my reach you know but you definitely have an option of taking the two from either of them and putting it into improved firebolt take one from improved emulate put it into improved imp and if you want to go any even further take two from ember storm and put it into your imp the next build is going to be an affliction build um this is the what i think you would be affliction the problem that i have with affliction is a lot of the talents feel like but they really do like you have all these filler one you, i don't know how good dark pact is going to be or if you would even need it but like where else are you going to put the talent more into suppression like i don't even like having the three points into suppression because well, we don't know, but right now they gave us mana oil and then, or the black feather mana oil. And then they gave us a boon that gave us our hit cap. One, we don't know if it's going to be a 5% hit cap right now. We don't know what the hit cap is going to be, what blizzard is going to do with that. Do we get a new oil? What's the boon? Is there a new buff? Well, there is going to be a new buff, they said, but is it going to give us hit again? We don't know about our hit. So that's the beautiful part about suppression is it's going to help our, it's gonna, besides spamming incinerate, which we'd still be doing because Shadow Bolt is butt cheeks. Although, like once again i don't know the math on this because we absolutely do not know if you would be shadow bolting right because shadow bolt is four levels behind you do have some you shadow mastery which is increasing the damage by 10 percent, but it's more like what would you run elsewise with it is the problem um we don't know because we don't know the new rune slots or the new runes or whatever's happening i could see a demonic pact angle here um i could see if you don't if, if shadow bolt is good i'm saying if shadow bolt is better than incinerate i could see a demonic pact angle here i could see a everlasting affliction angle here because you're spamming shadow bolts like you never know we don't really know what that rune slot right now we're gonna have to wait and see but like points like suppression that's all filler points like i put five in the i put five in the corruption and i go down my normal way like and the problem that i have with this is improved drain life barely gives you granted we do have a level 38 drain life which is not that bad 
So I don't know the math on how much healing you're getting back on that. But the problem with it is there's a lot of mechanicals in there. And if I remember correctly from the normal Gnome Origin, yeah, there were a lot of mechanicals. Say there's a pack of three or four mechanicals. There was like one dwarf. So what I'm thinking in my head is maybe, okay, maybe we pull into this pack. I can master channel around the one dwarf, right? And then just go through my rotation. Um, also, you could, if, if, if master trainer becomes a big issue because everything is mechanicals, you can swap the demonic tactics. Um, you're only getting, this is only going to benefit your pet and your shadow bolts because you're, I mean, maybe emulate if you keep emulate up because your dots don't crit, right? So I don't see another option for anything. Maybe soul scythe. I can't imagine soul scythe being good ever. That's the thing. You're definitely not going to use like a fire if you're affliction. So it's kind of a battle between demonic tactics and master channeler if you can even get use out of master channeler, right? Going down the tree, like you have improved. Uh, improve life tap obviously and then you come down here but I, I could you can't open up this next tier without taking improved curse of agony or amplify curse you could take fell concentration but what's the point because the master channeler and the problem that i have with improved emulate and i mean improved curse of agony and uh, amplify curse is this a 10 man and you rarely bring more than one warlock some people might bring more than one warlock but someone needs to curse a wreck and on top of curse of wreck we now have curse of elements right curse of uh, curse of the elements we now have curse of the elements right where's that one right there at level 32 this is going to give you six percent fire damage right um fire and frost the issue with this is we don't have curse of shadows curse of shadows is i think level 42 that gives you shadow damage right but you're going to have mages in here that are going to be fire guaranteed they're probably going to be fire and you'll have other fire industrial warlocks in there so why or even like your a fire tank a warlock tank you know what i mean or an enhancement shaman tanking fire damage like you never know how much fire is going to be in there so it'd be really silly not to put curse of elements up depending on your comp that's up you have to figure that out yourself but like because of that like you're probably not going to be agonizing much if you're the only warlock in there you're putting up curse of wreck and if you're uh, the second warlock you're more than likely going to put curse of wreck up and curse of elements if there's other fire damage in there like a tank or a mage now if and you don't have curse of shadows so if you don't and maybe you have maybe you have another warlock and he's the cuck warlock and he's putting up curse of wreck and then you can curse of agony yeah but either way these talents kind of feel wasted but you have like just like these two up here three up here you have to put them in there even this five you have to put these in there just to drop down to get nightfall which it's all right it's all right but it's not crazy by any means and then you have your your uh grim reach which is dope and then you open up siphon life which once again everything's mechanical in there siphon life doesn't work on mechanicals as far as i know as far as i remember but you need all that just to drop down and get 10 percent damage done on your shadow spells from shadow mastery so this tree just feels kind of like improved corruption which is fantastic we like our reach nightfall is fun all of this combined just to get those talents and shadow mastery it kind of just feels like you know what I mean? Who really knows? It just feels like it's not going to feel that good. This point is just extra. I didn't know where else to put it. Um, and of course, course of, Curse of Exhaustion can come handy if you guys are dying or something like that. And then obviously Haunt, you're going to run Haunt. I can't imagine not running Haunt. Um, I have a build later where I talk about Shadow of Volley, but this is, you would use Shadow of Volley for trash. And maybe you have a, you know, you would just have like an extra pair of gloves on you and uh, put them on your action bars with the macro or however you want to do it and swap to them when you're on trash packs for Shadow of Volley. Yeah, but I don't know. I, th I feel like Affliction is going to be kind of far behind for this, but like I said, we'll wait and see. Let me know what you guys think. So this next build is what I think would be kind of like a support build a little bit. Um, if you notice, I took demonic pack. I took demonic tactics because well, this is my speculation that Master Chandler is not going to work, like I said. And then Haunt, which you could swap Haunt for uh, Shadow of Volley on this ex example if you want on the AOE packs. And then you have demonic pack. I think demonic pack will do much better than it is doing currently. I don't know how much spell damage it's going to give us because we don't know how much spell power we're going to have at this level. I'm not going to go there and make phase two previous guys yet because we don't know anybody doing that is just trying to fucking fill the YouTube algorithm or whatever the fuck i'm not doing that because i'm not gonna i don't want to mislead you guys you know um but this pretty much goes down and gets ruined right away improved firebolt improved imp letting your imp slap imp crits a lot in terms of math of what pet crits the most uh out of your imp voidwalker succubus and fell hunter no idea i'm gonna look you straight in the face and say i don't know i'm gonna wager it's between imp, imp and succubus though um check out the warlock discord they probably know the answer i could have checked before i did this but someone in the comments can tell me uh either way imp does a lot of damage Imp will do more damage than succubus at this level because of improved imp and improved firebolt right um after that this is just simple take improved corruption for your instant corruption and your your life tap i think that this would be a solid and oh yeah an isb i said go down destro tree but for once it's isb and not cataclysm isb is not that bad obviously this gives everybody you you know what it does i think that with you critting your shadow bolts which is at a lower rank at level 36 i think you got some good option to keep isb up and help your other people out the thing is i don't know how much shadow you're gonna have in the raid uh maybe you have a meta tank or you're running a shadow priest or you're running another shadow warlock or just simply your your damage because you're shadow on this i think this could be rather helpful um i don't think this build is by any means going to be best in slot for like your damage but i think that this would be a nice little support build for those that like the support builds on them 
and this last one for dps is a demonic sacrifice build demonic sacrifice is rather different because you'd have enough points to get demonic sacrifice which means you're sacrificing your pet for some kind of damage if you're sacrificing your imp you get 15 percent fire damage if you sacrifice your succubus you're getting 15 percent shadow damage and it kind of goes both ways the thing with the, ignore the runes the runes will go whichever way you want to go so say you want to go fire i think you would just go here slam fire spells with 15 percent fire damage nothing really else you can do there um you could also go the opposite and go i want to go in corruption and i don't even know where i'd put these other three we don't know how our hit is maybe that and you just slam shadow bolts or even further than that you could probably just go five into corruption and then five into improve shadow bolt and run down here get demonic pact and then run back up here probably get demonic tactics and run here and get vol between haunt and volley and then you can run another support build which wouldn't be that bad because you're getting fit this support build will probably do more damage than this support build maybe i'm not sure and you'd have ruin that's i don't know speculating on that one i have no idea but this one at least gives you improved corruption you go about your rotation and you and you get isb which would be kind of cool um i don't know how good ds is going to be i think it's a little too early i think we need a little bit more points maybe at the 50 bracket we'll be able to use more demonic sacrifices but who knows you never know nobody knows at all like i said um but yeah i just want to show a demonic sacrifice build yeah but i just want to sew a ds build for whatever you wanted to go fire or a support one okay now on to the tank builds so we have some tank builds four of them i want to show you and this is where tanking is going to get fun in my opinion those of us that tank which obviously i tank i've got rank one a few times on this tanking thing i am having so much fun tanking and i'll speak for every demo warlock in the world when i tell you that our main issue is aoe threat yes you can heavy dynamite yes you can searing pain spam stop it that's nowhere near an enhancement shaman that's nowhere near a paladin that's you know what i mean it's that we're not the best at it that's not our job blizzard stated early that they did not want us to be monsters at single target and aoe threat and we are monsters of single target i think we are fantastic at single target no one ever pulls off me and even on some bosses on my warlock i pull from every other tank besides a warlock tank so i like i really like warlock tanking a lot i'm ranting sorry so this is the first build i think would be of the fire build i think that once again our mana issues are gone with lake of fire because we have rank one lake of fire we can use master channeler is useless in my opinion because you're not going to be able to do anything to mechanicals and then demonic tactics could be great by the way i'm not knocking demonic tactics at all i think this is a good runner up so between demonic tactics and lake of fire it just seems really silly not to use like a fire with how cheap it's going to be to use right now the complaint is oh my god a quarter of my mana pool is gone that doesn't exist anymore we're going straight down to fire tree all the way down to the same build that we had right like we have our destruction spells our faster cast time on our emulate we have devastation for five percent crit we have our reach if you want reach you can take a reach instead of the the hellfire one which i think would be absolutely crazy to do because you the 70 first off you get hellfire which i meant to mention just a minute ago when i talked about aoe threat it's gone our aoe threat problems non-existent anymore you have hellfire i don't know if you ever use hellfire in classic or whenever you used it last before sod but that did good damage and always had threat issues let alone that's without the meta threat buffing right so i think that we are going to be able to have aoe threat so easy we have 70 percent pushback on that earth shield stuff if you have a shaman you also just get a bubble from a priest and things are just going to die we're running that with a dynamite too or whatever the level 40 bracket dynamite is bomb is i don't know what it is yet i think we're our aoe threat is going to be gone we get more damage on our fire from ember storm buffing our hellfire even more buffing our emulate more ruin for the searing pains and also improve searing pain making our threat even better on both aoe and single target you don't i don't think we're actually going to need this right i think you'll be able to move these two point points somewhere else right and what i think what i was going to say earlier is i think a good option is to go or whoops wrong is to go here and then you can go ahead and get your improved imp and your improved firebolt right oh i'm over on points so you need to you need to yeah fix that move some here from here actually i'd probably move some from here Oh no, you have to move something that sucks. Yeah, I'd probably do that if you wanted to do improved imp. Yeah, but the, you have so many options here. I'm super pumped for this one. I don't even think that you would need corruption on this. You can definitely sacrifice points out of corruption, like I said, and go even further and get them if you really wanted them. This is just kind of speculation again. I said that word a lot today. Um, but I love the improved, uh, improved searing pain. I think this is going to be a really, 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 really fun build. And I can't wait to see how fire distro feels inside there. And this is without any of the new runes, right? Lake of Fire is going to be great. Meta, we're obviously going to use and incinerate simply because I don't know what else you would do. Maybe you can see some demonic grace play because you are hell firing. And this can give you a little bit of dodge. As bad as this rune is, it uh, gives you a little bit of dodge when you're in an AOE pack, I guess. But I mean, but being able to throw an incinerate down to get the buff, drop a rank one rate of fire, and then running in and hell firing is going to be super big damage. It's going to be very big on threat too. And I'm pretty pumped for it. Uh, the next one is going to be an affliction build for. Uh, 
tanking, which right now currently is amazing at our level bracket at 25. I think we run into the same issue as we did when I was talking about um, affliction for DPS. Sorry. Uh, you, had, you know, the tip, it's pretty much the same build you would use for DPS. Uh, the problem is master channeler. Is it going to work? You know, I mean, wasted points. You're not going to be able to siphon life. You know, like it's some of the big talent things. And then we have improved agony and amplify curse. The same issue that I had with DPS. So it goes both ways. It's like, am I the only warlock? Am I not going to curse a wreck? Am I going to be able to siphon life? Am I going to be able to drain? So I don't know how strong this talent's going to be. On top of that, am I spamming shadow bolts? Like you, we don't know what we're doing with this build. So it's kind of worry. I do like dark pack for tanking a little bit because it's less taps that you need on yourself making you chunkier but i don't know i'm this is i don't know how strong this build is going to be um i think a more kind of uh hybrid build would be very helpful for tanking other than that I don't, i'm not really sure for the same reasons it's so up in the air with this i hope they change the mech thing because not only does it hurt warlocks but you know warriors and rogues bleeding they can't bleed the targets and also mechanicals can't even be taunted right so it's like it's gonna be crazy i have no idea right if, if, if mechanicals can't be taunted like they usually can't this fire build with hellfire no one's i don't think a lot of people are pulling off that maybe mages because mages are fucking mages right but i don't think too many people are going to be pulling off that you know we'll see next build is a f that what will probably be the most tanky tank build in the entire game over all the tanks doesn't matter if you're a warrior rogue druid shaman i don't give a fuck paladin i don't think anything's gonna out tank this this is the soul link build for tanking soul fucking link you guys know all about it man give me that 30 percent all damage taken to your pet you have your void walker out who's extra tanky you have a, a sacrifice shield a big one if you need it whenever he's out you take 10 percent less physical damage on it i think this town i think this whole tree is going to be absolutely bananas obviously you can drop incinerate for demonic grace dookie ass demonic grace you can uh take demonic pact if you want if you feel like your void walker is critting a little bit or just take the incinerate buff master channeler might be bad so i don't know how we feel about that but you could also run lake of fire with this build no no wrong with lake of fire you can this is going to help you with your threat right you still get hellfire no matter what tree you're in right you just don't get the pushback on it but you can get help with your raid from pushback priest shield earth shield right so you'll be able to lake of fire run or incinerate run in rank one lake of fire and spam hellfire sack a void walker for extra safety while you're hellfiring i think this build is gonna be a lot of fun in terms of damage i don't know how it's gonna do in damage but i know i think this will do more damage than the affliction tree because you're not focused on needing to have to siphon life and drain you're not gonna be able to do that um but i think it's gonna be less damage than the fire build um i'm excited to shit for this i actually might run this the first lockout my main tank my first lock on a number i'm running this for safety i don't care i'm doing it i'm doing it and i can't wait to do it also this helps a lot too because i mean he has an aoe taunt which will probably get ripped on right away but if you're running in there on a big pack and he can throw an aoe taunt out that gives you a little bit of time without everybody getting hit maybe might only be a second or two but that's enough time for you to throw incinerate get your rank one ran fire down and then hellfire um yeah so i'm really excited for this build really 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 excited for this build um been waiting for it for a while this is gonna be a monster build probably tweak some stuff obviously because you need corruption and stuff for pvp but if you can you can't you can only get to 40 on this so you to get soul link so you can't do anything you're gonna hard cast corruption in pvp it's like i'm gonna do a pvp video later but this is gonna be a lot of fun next one i think is more of a tanking support build I think this could be interesting because you're tanking i think if there's no threat issues you can have an option to run demonic sacrifice and not have a pet out running master channeler or demonic tactics in this example with everlasting affliction improved shadow bolt improved corruption corruption everything using shadow cleave on cooldown to proc to you to, 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 to take effect of everlasting affliction and keep the corruptions up on targets if that crits you have improved a shadow bolt going on there you know you're doing a little bit more shadow damage because you can sacrifice your one you can sacrifice your succubus for 50 percent more shadow damage or if you're fire you can sacrifice your imp and go ahead and get 50 percent fire damage and your hellfire is going to be hitting hard right so this is going to be super super fun and you'll be able to flex this as well too like you're on trash packs running everlasting affliction okay i'm on the boss let me switch my stuff around real quick and i'm already back here this time i'm going to sacrifice my imp and do 15 percent more damage okay we're going back to the trash packs let me switch back to everlasting affliction demonic embrace or demonic tactics and keep going i think it's gonna be fun yeah and that's it i just wanted to spit i was really thinking about this hard and i just really i'm excited for phase two and i wanted to talk to somebody about it and i figured uh the warlock community would love to hear about it and you know let me know in the comments what you guys think i can't wait to talk to you guys about it i'm so excited for warlocks right now warlocks are doing all right in phase one as we know we're the best caster we're gonna be hard time keeping up with the melee i don't think that's gonna change to be honest well in my opinion i think we're gonna be third best dps i don't know if that's cope maybe it's a little bit of cope Okay, maybe it's a lot of cope, but I think it's gonna be warrior, rogues, and then warlocks. 
Um, I think Warriors may on rogues, but mainly Warriors are going to be hindered hard because they're getting carried, not carried, but they're a lot of their damage is deep wounds, which is a bleed. You can't bleed mechanicals. So that'll be interesting. Um, but I think we're, I think fire Destro, nothing is in the way of being powerful, right? We're going to have second best AOE behind mages. Sorry. We're just not going to beat mages, bro. Mages, living flame, living bomb, like, you know, the, the whole region shit, like we're not beating mages. Um, and they get more of their kit too, which is going to be nasty. But I think after that, we smack everybody in AOE. I don't think it's sad Priest is keeping up on AOE. I think, I think we're second place for AOE single target. I think we're beating out mages. Um, I think we're beating out everybody on single target, to be honest. Also remember mages will be able to full scorch. So we'll have scorch up on the boss full time. We're doing more fire damage that way as well. Um, and I think this is going to be a fun phase, man. I really do. So uh, I'm going to let this video go. This is not a scripted video, if you could tell. Uh, so I'm talking probably fast as shit. You better slow that speed down to 0.75 or something, dog, because I'm not redoing this video. And uh, I hope to see you guys soon. Check out the stream at Crix Vibes where I'm playing like six characters right now. It's fucking wild. Um, obviously, no matter what anybody says, or what you heard about me, my Warlock is my main. Okay. Yes, I'm liking my mage. Yes, I'm liking my warrior. I love my dual wielding shaman tank. Love my feral druid, my boomy. Warlock is my home. I will always main Warlock first. Do not worry. I will be going absolutely no lifing phase two and being one of the first people to clear Nomer as the tank. Um, probably running the soul link build just for super safety. Cause we don't know how hard it's going to be. It's probably not going to be that hard. Uh, but yeah, check out the stream and, uh, like the shit if you can. And I'll see you guys on the next one, man. Let me know in the comments what you think about this, or if you have other builds, like, or just kind of, I'll have timestamps for the names of these. It's kind of like, Oh, this build sucks. Or I think you could better this build by this or whatever. You know what I mean? Um, try not to be toxic. We're just trying to help each other out here and I'll see you guys on the next one.